Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech here. Library function is one of the most fundamental feature in programming. It facilitates in code reuse. The big feature that lessens program development time. Let's dive in to find out how that's the case with practical examples in a step-by-step -step manner. Let's say you are to write a program to find out how many characters are in a word typed by user using a function. First, let's see how the program written by you should work. Now let's analyze the code. I'm assuming you know the basic of functions. If that's not the case, you will not be able to understand the program given here. So I suggest you first go through my video on the basics of functions. The link to the video is in the description. Anyway, coming back here, the program asks us to enter a word. Let's say we type book. It will be stored in S1. We call the function count character and pass S1 to it. Now the definition of the function is here. This part is called definition of function because it defines what computer should do when you call a function. As you probably know, when there is a function call, computer goes from the point where there is a function call to the point where there is a function definition. Hence from this point, computer comes to this point. The name of the file containing this program is program1.c. As you can see, in this program, main and function both are in the same file. But it doesn't have to be so. In fact, it's better to separately keep main in one file and function or functions in another file. So let's remove function count character from the file program1.c and put it in a separate file say called word.c. Once we put the definition of the functions in a separate file, we don't need to have the declaration of function here. So let's delete this line. Now, what happens when you call function count character? First, computer will look for the definition of the function in the file program1.c. But we have already removed this function from this file. Does computer by itself know that we have moved the function count character into the file word.c? Of course not. Hence, we should type this. When we call function count character, now computer will know and look for definition of the function in the file word.c. What happens? If computer is not able to find the file word.c. Remember, it is in the file word.c where it is defined what should happen when you call a function. So if computer is not able to find this file, very simple. When you call a function, nothing will happen. Okay, you have written function which finds how many characters are in a word. Think about all the time you spend thinking about solutions, writing code and probably you got quite few syntax error, time is spent correcting them. So it takes considerable amount of time and efforts to write a functions. What if I tell you, you don't have to write such functions, but they are already written by someone else and um, you can simply use them. 
Doesn't that make life easier? Since the function is already written by someone else, clearly you want to use it. So we are not going to write and use our own functions. But if you don't know the name of the functions, how are you going to call that functions? So if you want to use the functions written by others, the first things you need to know is the name of the function. Let's say the name of the function is str lin. So you would type this. So you have called function here. But in which file computer is to find the definition of this function? Or in another words, what is the name of the file, where it is defined, what computer should do when you call these functions. So the second thing you need to know to use function written by others is the name of the file which contains the definition of the functions. Let's say the definition of the function str lin is in file called string.s. So you have to write this here. Now, when you call function strlen, computer will go to file string.s and do whatever are written there. Let's say you want to do many other things. More good news here. You don't need to write functions. The file string.s not only contains definitions of function str length, but it contains definitions of many other functions. This kind of file which contains definitions of many closely related functions is called library. Let me repeat that. This kind of file which contains definitions of many closely related functions is called library. Are there just one library file like string.s? Of course not. For example, there is a file called math.s which contains definition of many functions which do various mathematical calculations. So in programming, before you write any functions, it would be wise to think whether there is already a function which would do things that you want. If the function already exists, why to spend time writing again? In other words, why to reinvent the wheels? In lot of cases, you will find that lot of such functions exist. This lessens the amount of code that you have to write and the program development process becomes easier and quicker. Hence, library function is one of the most fundamental and important feature of programming. How was today's video? Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I will be posting videos like this on various programming topics, so please do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one.